All right, camo junkies, you ready for more? Um, I got a special request to do a video about the British DPM pattern and some variants. And so that's what this is. It's for uh, one of my subscribers, Red Baron, Red Baron 324. Uh, he just has acquired some pieces for, I guess, uh, start of a collection. And uh, he got a Portuguese jacket, a uh, shirt, and a nice set of them EOTech Lizard Modern Lizard uh, Fatigues from Sportsman's Guide, which are really nicely made. But you know me, I like vintage stuff. I might buy a set of them just so I can beat them up and wear them around. But um, anyway, back to the DPM, which is a great pattern. I love it. Uh, it all derived from the, the Denison smock in World War II that the uh, British used. <clears throat> which was broad brush strokes swirly kind of you know not no particular pattern which was really cool but some of their colorations weren't real good it was either they were too light and they they worked in bright sunlight but not in you know like shaded areas of woods and stuff but uh i know in the late 50s the dpms came out that are like modern you know probably 59 or 60 but before that they still used the Denison smocks and uh, most of the, this is what this is a Belgian this is a Belgian brush stroke pattern from 1956 and it's a jump smock see it has the, the jump diaper there and it Denison smock too did had one too but it, it buttoned up here in the back but the Belgians changed it a little bit and this is a real heavy I mean, really super heavy, windproof. See the three snap closures. And there's the snap for the diaper here in the front. Right here. You know, and you can adjust it for the size of your inseam. But I got the pants in there too. And they're, from, they're dated 19... They're dated 1956 as well. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but... This set's really old. And I really love it. But it's just so damn heavy to wear around. Unless you're actually jumping out of an airplane. I mean, you can load this thing down with gear. It's got all kinds of adjustment tabs on the sides. Uh, in the back, it's got pockets all over the place. Reinforced elbows and ass and knees. So that's the the basis of what the, the uh, DPM started out like. Was the big brush stroke. And then the Rhodesians took that too and used to make the Rhodesian camouflage. But I have, a, as you can see behind me here, I got a bunch of uh, DPMs, a couple deserts, and this set here was sent to me by a fellow YouTuber who has now uh, jumped off the bandwagon of YouTube, but Kiwi Ted sent me this from New Zealand. And uh, it says HE Textiles Limited, Jacket Combat Tropical, size 3. And it has a boonie hat, J hat as they call it. Real nice. And it has a flap that you can take down in the rear. It's a sunshade. Like with the African, a lot of African hats have that. And uh, you can see right here it says... Hills hats, size small, made in New Zealand. Thank you, Kiwi Ted. You'll be missed. So that's the the uh, New Zealand set. That's real lightweight too, real light. Must not get too cold down there. Except in the mountains, probably. This is the oldest set that I've had. That I bought a long time ago, right? Uh, after watching the, the wild geese this is a real nice set got one little seam coming undone on this pocket here but they're in real good shape but they're everywhere they made 10 trillion pairs of these things and this is made by Bernard Uniforms they, they may have a lot of different makers and the materials are different and everything this has got a huge pocket in the back like the Rhodesian jackets used to have bush jackets and it's got the epaulets and all, and you put your rank ciphers on it. 
but this is a great set. This one was made in the, the 80s. This is a darker variant. I'm trying to find a jacket like it, but it's hard to. These are brand new. And these were made by uh, Jay Compton. They make a lot of fatigues for uh, the British or the United, uh, what's it called? Uh, United Kingdom. But yeah, it's a nice set. I wear these around all the time. It's just the, the key to making them, keeping them uh, not faded is don't put them in the dryer. Ever. And I got the two desert ones here too. This one was from a uh, uh, New Zealand trooper. And this one, I don't think was issued. It don't have no sew marks where any rank or anything was on it. But, uh, this is, you know, it's got the zipper and the button fly. Keep out the wind in the sand. This one's real lightweight. You can see they're a little different tones. But this one's been put in the dryer, of course. You can definitely tell. And I have the pants, and they've definitely been run, run through the uh, dryer. They feel like pajamas. They're real baby soft. These are made by Jay Compton. So is the jacket. So is the other jacket. And then I have, over here, a Belgian set. As you can see. And these are really cool because it has snap uh, front. And the pants on the waist, if you don't really feel like wearing a belt, they have these huge Velcro things that you can adjust the waist at least a couple inches. If you don't feel like wearing, you know, a belt with it. It's got a little pocket on the bottom of the leg here. I don't know what it's really for. Maybe a little utility tool or something. And you notice these are a little, a lot different colors than the British and the, uh, the Irish are even different. They're even more green. Let's see what this one says. Well, it's written in Belgian. I felt Belgian, I can't read it. But yeah, there's the the Belgian DPM. I love this set. I wear this set all the time too. I have another Belgian jacket somewhere. I actually found it at Sunny Surplus for about four bucks. And it's real nice. Oh, it's in the hallway, hanging in the hanging on the coat rack. But it's got the zippered uh, pockets up here. No pockets down here. A lot of modern clothing didn't have pockets down here because your belt will go right there. And what's the sense in having pockets there? You can't get to them anyway. And, you know, no uh, DPM set will be done without your scarf, you know. And then you put your jacket on. Oh, hey, missed it. And you put your jacket on. And then it also doubles as a, a veil. You want to hide. I got the super rare TPM pattern. I know this wasn't used by the British military. You guys see that? Definitely a TPM pattern just with two colors. And they actually made another pattern of this with three colors. Even more look like DPM. But I want to challenge you guys to tell me where this came from. I did say it in another video, but I was wrong. Not where the country of origin, but what it, the unit it was for. So that's a challenge to all you camo junkies. What kind of DPM is that? Now, one more look. You can clearly see it's the swirly DPM pattern just with two colors. So you guys get back to me on that one. You're going to hunt high and low to find that answer. 
uh, all you people from Africa, you're going to know who it was, so you're disqualified from any kind of compensation. This is the uber rare thing right here. Patrol cap. DPM. It actually fits me real nice. I'll put it over my ponytail, though. I love this hat. You can fold it up and put it in your pocket. It, you don't even know you're wearing a hat when you're wearing it. And these are really rare in the States. I've only seen two other ones, and they were about this big around. So, yeah. The Uber Rare DPM Patrol Hat with the ear flaps. And they even got wool inside of them. Keep your ears and back and neck warm. And the hat is lined. And this one says... Compton Web Manufacturers Limited Size 7 and 3 8 So I hope that satisfies your DPM uh, fixation there Mr. Red Baron 324 I know your name's Eric but anyway I hope you enjoyed my descriptions I guess or my part of my British collection. I do have another boonie hat from uh, Canada and it's ripstop nylon but it's somewhere in the abyss of the camo room over there. So soon I'm going to have to get a bigger house. That's all there is to it. I mean I got more stuff coming next week from Africa again. So keep watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it. See ya.